Hi friend, I'm Sarah of My Home, Your Home, Our Home, and I was once asked the question by a friend, what to do when you live overseas and it's gonna cost you $3,000 to ship your homeschool curricula to you in Nepal. I didn't have a really good answer for this friend at that time and that was surprising to me because I was homeschooled. So I'm a second generation homeschooler and I didn't know a lot of resources that I could recommend to this friend that would be cheaper for him. But thankfully in our digital world, our digital age, there are a lot of really good quality online digital printable resources and curricula for families. So in today's video, I'm sharing these with you and you can use them no matter where you live in the world. If you're just looking for a really simple solution to shipping prices, resource or supply, <laughs> low supply of things, or just wanting things that fit within your budget, then today's list can really help you. I'm really excited about these resources that I'm going to be sharing with you today because this project, this video came out of my friend's question. I have a really personal connection with it. I am of course thinking about expat friends as I'm making this video, but this video can apply to you no matter where you live if you're looking for digital printable products for homeschool. Now I am a Christian and a lot of these resources will have some Christian ties to them. I will recommend some Christian things, but you will also find some secular resources in here. I will leave links to all of these resources in the description box below, as well as anything else that I would recommend in the future and add to this video, I will leave in the description box below. I will divide this video into two parts. I have two preschool boys and so I'm familiar with quite a few resources for that age group of preschool, kindergarten, and I also have resources for all ages of homeschool. So First of all, I'm going to tell you some resources that can apply to any age, and then second part of this video, I will explain and share some resources that are more specific and geared toward the toddler age range up to probably around age six. The first thing that I want to share with you is something I am really super excited about and convinced I want to use throughout all of my kids' schooling, and that is the logic of English. This is a complete language arts curriculum that includes handwriting, spelling, reading, phonics, all of that, and grammar. This actually is available in print form, but you can buy these in PDF form. And I found a little trick that I think might work, although I haven't tried it yet. But if you buy these from the Logic of English website as an online course, it's a little bit cheaper and you have one year of access to it. So if you only have one child, totally fine for you. But also I believe that you get the PDF form of all of the resources and as long as you're saving that to your Dropbox or your Drive or whatever I think that you can legally keep that uh, for your family to use but also just print it off this is one great way that I wish I would have known before we bought the physical form to save on luggage space so if you're moving overseas you don't have to get things shipped to you from this company you can still get all of their resources now I will say that their tactile cards are not going to be the same when coming out of a home printer they're not going to have the tactile nature to them but with other resources like cutting your own sandpaper and gluing that to a card or other resources for tactile things you can find a way around that but this is an extremely great program um, just looking through this as an English teacher I have learned many things <laughs> about English phonics and so I would highly recommend this to bilingual families families where you're homeschooling in English but that's not your native language or you're just living in another country where your family is learning English or your kids are learning English at school and you want to understand or you want your kids to really firmly understand the language, this is an extraordinary resource. Made a video unboxing what comes in Foundations A and I'm planning to make videos in the future about our use of this program and why I think it's so amazing. I just think it's phenomenal. This resource might not be as spoken about within the homeschool community, but it is a good one. It's Artistic Pursuits. I had a physical copy of this book and chose to sell it instead and buy a PDF form of the books. When you buy PDF forms of the Artistic Pursuits books, you can also get a physical copy mailed to an address that you choose, probably only within the US. I haven't checked out international shipping, but you do get the full PDF copy. So if you're looking into art education and you don't find a lot of resources in English or you just want a really good quality one, this is probably for you. And this is done from a Christian perspective, so they will have different 
topics that they cover um, and tie to faith or that they cover from a Christian worldview. A new and popular homeschool resource that of course I must include in this list is The Good and the Beautiful. There are a multitude of videos here on YouTube about that, so I won't explain this to you, but I will say that they do have some free resources for older grades, not for younger than first grade, I believe, but they do have some resources for older grades. You can download those, use those for free, especially if you're overseas. I think that's a really good thing to look into and you can find resources for pretty much all subjects, all grade levels. So that would be probably my go-to recommendation for people if you're looking for an entire program that you can download anywhere in the world. Excuse my sons talking in the background. They're having fun outside playing with water with their dad. Another recent discovery that I made and really would highly recommend is Where'd You Learn That Homeschool? Rachel, who has a YouTube channel called 7 and All, also creates homeschool resources for families with geography, state studies, all kinds of different studies for uh, especially preschool and Spanish English bilingual families but for a lot of different age ranges and I would recommend going there to find unit studies and things that you can use in your homeschool for specific topics. For the specific subject of science check out Mystery Science. This is a company that gives free trials for a year to families that want to have questions answered and explore science from a more question based perspective. Summer Myers who has a YouTube channel by her name first introduced this resource to me and I'll refer you to her channel to hear more about it but if you're looking into science online or just a more exploratory science if that makes sense based on discovery and questions this would be a really good resource and you can participate in it throughout the world it's not based only in the US Hey, this is Sarah from the future and I'm just popping in to say there is another program that I recently found online that is Easy Peasy Homeschool. This website has a lot of different resources on it for all kinds of different subjects and you can access most of these, I believe, if not all of these for free. So it's a free option with a lot of different resources for people who just want a carry with you, go with you type of homeschool um, where you can print it anywhere in the world. Now for some preschool specific resources. I am really excited about my preschool resources because I have come to really love them throughout this school year with my boys. First, I want to recommend The Gentle and Classical. This is a completely digital program. If you want, you can buy this program in physical form in the United States, but if you live overseas and are able to print these resources yourself, it's completely digital. It's all there. You're not missing out on anything by printing it yourself. The Gentle and Classical offers a full year program for preschool and also a second program for kindergarten. And with these programs, you can explore pretty much all the subjects. It is lacking in the phonics area, so I would recommend the logic of English paired with this, and also a bit in the science area, at least the preschool one is, so maybe combine this with mystery science. But this is a program that will offer you a lot of value in Bible study, catechism, and literature. This program is literature based, so if you don't have access to the books, then you're, you can find these as read alouds on YouTube, but it's not going to be quite the same with small children um, in my experience, but it can work and you can find other books also to go with it. It's not completely tied down to these specific books. Preschool Bible. I'm going to make a video all about preschool Bible resources because this was a something that was a struggle at the beginning of our preschool school year. Just getting my boys to pay attention to something as important as the Bible, as God's word, and learn it and understand it was a really much more of a challenge than I expected it to be. I have taught Bible in the past and was a Sunday school teacher and taught in a school setting, but it was different teaching a three-year-old about the Bible and getting him to really take interest in it and engage with it. So I was so happy when I found this resource and I have it in printed form, so I'll hold it up and show you, but you can get it as a PDF copy through the website as well. 
this is play through the bible and it's supposed to be used in conjunction with a children's bible storybook called the rhyme bible which i also happen to have i think that you can get this as a, a kindle book or possibly as an ebook so i'll look into that and leave it in the description box below for you if i find it but with this you are doing different activities crafts sensory activities through the bible with little kids and it just makes it so engaging for them i was so happy to find this i will say that you actually don't have to purchase the physical book you can access these resources for th free through the author's website and she is uh, the founder of steadfast family i believe that's also the name of her website and she has um all of this pretty much on her website and different blog posts. If you're wanting something that you can just go to one place and find everything that you're going to need and do and possibly more resources, I think this has more activities in it than her blog does, then I recommend her book. It's also downloadable through PDF. You do have to pay for it, but you can get both a cop the Old Testament and the New Testament and a combined deal on her website, at least as of this recording of this video. But this is a resource I found this year and was super excited about for preschool and kindergarten math i recommend some resources by kate snow she wrote preschool math at home and also kindergarten math with confidence you can get these as pdfs through the website welltrainedmind.com i believe and you can use these pdfs print them out you can use them on your reader or whatever but you can uh, use these activities to teach your child math in a playful way I really have enjoyed using preschool math at home with my three-year-old this year for our homeschool. It's a very enjoyable approach to math and that it's through real life situations and examples and play and just teaching them very conceptual things that I wouldn't even think about teaching my kids if it weren't pointed out to me the difficulty that and development that needs to happen before it's actually understood. These are the resources I have discovered up to now and would recommend now if my friend asked me that question again, what can I get outside of the US? What would be a way to teach my kids for much cheaper than $3,000 for shipping? I hope that this video was really helpful to you. If you have other resources, please comment below and share those for all of our benefit. Also, if you need resources for other topics, subjects, leave questions and comments in the comment section below. I would love it if you would like this video, if it's helpful to you and a topic that you would like to see more of, and also to subscribe and join our community here because I love meeting other homeschoolers, other expats, other people here on in the YouTube world. And I'm so glad that you joined me today. If you'd like to check out more videos about bilingual homeschool, homeschooling overseas, homeschooling preschoolers, and just in general, international life, preschool, parenthood, then check out these videos and playlists here. Thanks for joining me today. Love you guys. See you next time. Ciao.